Hey guys, welcome to STEM today. We are inside Miss Douglas's closet today. Hey guys. Um, the reason we're inside my closet is because we need it to get as dark as it can for our project that we're doing. We are going to be making a magic potion tower. So I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need. And if you don't have all of this today, that's fine. Just watch and it's really kind of just a cool thing to watch. So the first thing you're gonna need is a vase of some sort, something kind of tall and clear. And you're also going to need some corn syrup. You're gonna need some baby oil. And you're gonna need some tonic water. And it's important that it has, um, I don't know if you can see it, quinine right here. And you're also gonna need some neon paint. You're gonna need some glitter. You can, it doesn't really matter if you have that, but it's kind of fun. You're gonna need a dropper. And you're also gonna make some, what we're calling glow water. Now your, your glow water, mine's pink, it's kind of hard to see because if I tilt it, I'll spill it, but you're gonna take a highlighter that you don't need anymore and you're gonna bust it open and you're gonna put it in a cup of water for probably a few hours and let that color just kind of explode all into the water. Then you're gonna take what is going to be called um, glow corn syrup or colored corn syrup. And you, again, you can't really see because it's deep in the cup, but it is pink just like my glow water. And I just poured it into some um, corn syrup and mixed it together. So you're also going to need some black lights. Now, I know not everybody has black lights, but if you do, great. If not, just watch. That's totally fine. So we're going to be talking about density today. So density, we've talked about it before in STEM. It's when things have more weight to it than others. So we're going to see the levels of density with liquid today. We're going to see which ones are heavier than others. So the first one we're going to pour in our vase is our, our corn syrup right here. And I'm going to pour a layer just enough to, to kind of have a little bit of a thick layer. And you'll be able to see how far we can add in there. That's pretty good. So you can see my corn syrup layer goes to about right here. The next thing you're gonna add is our colored corn syrup. Now each layer, you're going to let it kind of settle first, okay? So I'm gonna pour my colored corn syrup on top. There we go, you can see I've got my pink layer right there. And it is separating a little bit, you can tell. And then the next thing we're gonna add is our neon paint. I happen to have bright yellow. So I'm gonna add a good amount of bright yellow on there. It's making some funny noises. I'm gonna add a little bit more because I think the more the better. Okay. And then the next thing I'm gonna add is tonic water. So we're gonna Pour some tonic water right on top for a good bit because we'll see those separate. It looks kind of orange right now. And the next thing we're going to add is our glow water. So our glow water is that pink highlighter water that I made. And hopefully this will all separate and look good. We'll see. So then we're going to add our baby oil. And we're going to let our layers separate for just a second. We're going to add some baby oil. I'm going to add a, probably a good amount of baby oil. I'm just going to squirt it on in there. There's not really measuring to this. It's just kind of fun and layering and just seeing what happens with all those layers. I might even add a little more baby oil. Okay, we got a good amount of baby oil in there. You can see my paint is at the top. And we're going to add 
some glitter in a little bit, but not yet, okay? So we're gonna see if our layers are settling. And so now this is the fun part. And let's see what happens. I am gonna turn my black lights on. And then I'm gonna turn off the lights. Oh, it's starting to glow, you guys. You can see it starting. And the more that it separates, the more it's going to glow also. And sometimes, I move my black lights a little closer. That might help a little bit too. And you can kind of see that it is starting to glow. I'm gonna put my black light up right next to it. And you can see that the colors are really starting to get really bright. If you notice that yellow paint is really glowing, which is super cool. The cool thing is tonic water and highlighter are both substances that glow. So I'm gonna try with my dropper real quick and I'm gonna add a little bit and see what happens. kind of doing like a looks like a lava lamp a little bit now I'm gonna add in my glitter it's kind of like I'm a mad scientist just having a whole lot of fun right now <laughs> and if you're looking from the top like I am this kind of looks like pepper so as you can see the colors are starting to separate you can see the the baby oil doing its magic I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer so you can see it. And there is the glitter starting to do its thing and separate. You can see the corn syrup on the bottom that's separated now. And all the colors and things doing their own thing. It's much cooler in person, I will say that, because it's kind of like my own personal lava lamp. Um, but you guys are going to be able to see a whole lot more when you're able to do it as well. So if you can, try and gather these supplies and see if you can do it too. And you might even have different colors that'll look really good. So I can't wait to see what you guys do. I'm going to give you all a close up real quick before we go. You can see the colors starting to separate. Again, it is much cooler in person. I'll give you a top view as well. I hope you guys have a whole lot of fun with this. I hope you're able to do it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.